Creating a Data Hero account simply requires you to enter your email address, create a password, and you're ready to go. Once you've created your account, you'll have the option to connect to a new service and import data. You can also upload data directly from your desktop via Excel or CSV files. In this case, let's select HubSpot, where you'll be prompted to enter your login information. Data Hero has user-level security, meaning we take on the permissions that have already been established within the connected service. Thus, if I do not have access to certain data within that service, I won't have access to that data in Data Hero either. Once I grant Data Hero access to my HubSpot data, I'll see a list of reports that are available for import. The data represented vary slightly across different services. For example, for HubSpot, Data Hero has created pre-built reports based on user feedback. For Salesforce, Data Hero offers the ability to bring in reports you've already created. For Google Analytics, you can build the report you need by selecting Attributes to Import. In this instance, let's import the Contacts report from HubSpot. Data Hero is now categorizing the data type and creating suggested charts based on this specific data. This is where a lot of the Data Hero magic happens, taking care of that math under the hood so that all you see is this simple interface instead of having to memorize formulas and create pivot tables. Now we'll need to confirm that the data has been categorized correctly. This is labeled as a geographic attribute, for example. If Data Hero isn't sure about the categorization, you'll get an orange bubble asking you to verify. If you need to change the categorization, you can simply click the dropdown and recategorize. You can also retitle any columns that you'd like to edit here. Once we've verified that the categorization looks correct, we can click It Looks Good and move on to the chart's homepage. Here, Data Hero recommends charts to get you started in the data visualization process. It analyzes patterns in the underlying data and creates suggested charts based on those patterns. This is where some of the best practices for data visualization are already built into Data Hero. Data Hero also incorporates user feedback, so if there's a chart that has been frequently requested by HubSpot users, you'll find that in the suggested charts here. Start with one of these suggested charts or create your own from scratch. If we select this suggested chart, Monthly Contacts, we see that Data Hero has already added access labels and a chart title. If this is exactly what I was looking for, my job is done. Let's say instead I'd like to see this information broken down by page submission title. Data Hero will suggest a column chart here, again rolling in those data visualization best practices. Data Hero automatically saves the chart as I go, so once I go back to my dataset homepage, you'll notice that the saved chart is here and my suggested charts are still down here. Now let's create a really similar chart but take a closer look at some of my other options. I'll drag on date created, HubSpot score, and lead source into the main portion of this chart. Data Hero creates a stacked column chart to represent this information. However, if I remove lead source in the top left and then drag it onto the top right portion of the chart, you'll notice a modal that allows you to select which lead sources you'd like represented in this chart. Now, Data Hero shows an aggregate view of those sources I previously selected. I can then drag on another attribute like state. The attributes on the left side here are all editable. I can show the average, max, or min for each lead source by simply clicking this drop down here. I can also filter easily by checking and unchecking these lead sources or change the time grouping by selecting this drop down menu. Select the percentage button in the top left to show visits broken down as a percentage of lead source. Click the comparison button to show month over month change or click the cumulative button to show the cumulative number of visits by lead source. Change the chart type with this selection here, where a stacked area chart could be helpful. Then take a look at the color palettes Data Hero offers that will ensure your data is depicted in a clear and visually appealing chart. You can also create your own custom palettes. Now you have a few charts that you need, ensure that they're updated as the data changes within your connected service. Just navigate back to your home page and click Updates here. You can schedule your data to update at any time that is convenient for you, or click Update Now to pull in the newest data immediately. From the Charts page, we can also combine this data set with a data set from a different service. Click Combine Data Set here, and we see that Data Hero has suggested the key that each data set will have in common. We'll drag that on and then be prompted to select the second data set. I can combine data on ID, email, text fields, or location fields. 
In this case, we'd like to combine it with support desk data, so select the unarchived tickets data set. Then select the email address and click combine. Data Hero is now merging the data from the contacts data set with the second data set, support tickets, based on email address. The combination has been successful, so I'll retitle the new data set. Now the process for creating a new chart is very similar to before. Simply drag and drop the information you want to visualize onto the chart. Notice the small icons here that indicate where the attribute originally came from. I can chart ticket submission by life cycle stage, for example. Add this saved chart to a dashboard here and then retitle the new dashboard. We can then add charts from the previous HubSpot dataset or from any other connected service. Export this dashboard as a whole into a board-ready PDF or a zip file of PNG images. I can also export individual charts into PNG files. To share a more interactive version of this chart, enable sharing in the top right corner. I can share this chart with anyone on my team plan so that when they log in, they'll be able to see the exact same dashboard. The only distinction is that they will not see this edit button in the bottom right. The idea behind this is that the dashboard viewer consumes this data but does not create the charts. The team admin would be in charge of creating those charts and dashboards. Now that you've seen a quick overview of Data Hero, give it a try at datahero.com.